Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cheesy! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, I feel my Iron Chefs have been winning too easily, which takes away from the excitement. So in my frantic search for a chef who has the caliber of toppling my Iron Chefs, I came to realize that I had overlooked this man. Tsuguo Fujiwara, one of the managing directors of the Chinese Chefs Association of Japan, a top class in both title and skill level. The Chinese Chefs Association of Japan is the single largest association with over 20,000 members. He is one of the managing directors, in other words, a high-ranking VIP in the world of Chinese chefs. Comparatively, Iron Chef Chen Kenichi underranks him as director of the Young Chefs Division. Oh, he's way up there. He's uh, the boss in the organization. Uh, he's about uh, 10 years older than I am. He's of the generation who were the leaders after the war. And I know his skill levels are not to be underestimated at all, I'll tell you. Upon further research, I found that Fujiwara is known as one of the very best chefs in Shanghai-style cuisine in Japan. So, let me formally introduce today's challenger, Managing Director of Chinese Chefs Association of Japan and Head Chef of Shuzenbo, Tsuguo Fujiwara. He began his apprenticeship at the top Shanghai restaurant in Nagoya, Flamingo. His name started to spread when he was 26. His unparalleled talent in decoration of appetizers earned him the nickname of the King of Appetizers. And at age 48, Fujiwara opened his own place, Shuzenbo, in Tokyo. Fujiwara further polished his own original style, incorporating new ingredients and adding new approaches to authentic Shanghai cuisine. Today, we may very well witness a battle between a high-ranking veteran and a young and rising iron chef, Chen. His father's cooking was completely... Uh, old. Okay, not old, but truly classic Szechuan dishes. Mm, that's it. And Chen Kenichi has added, well, a great deal of variety to his father's recipes, in my opinion. So now, Fujiwara, do justice to your official title and put an end to the winning streak of my Iron Chefs. I know he's won against many Chinese chefs. This time, <laughs> that's not going to happen. With my Shanghai-style food, I'd like to declare war against him. Hmm. He's a higher status than me, so I've got nothing to lose.
Today, one of the country's veteran leaders in Chinese cooking stepping in, and our guest is actress Chizuru Azuma. Welcome. It's my pleasure to Azuma be here. Azuma-san, uh, Szechuan, Cantonese, Peking, Shanghai cuisine, which one do you like best? Szechuan, I think. Ah, knowing you, kind of hot, thought you'd go for the spicy uh, stuff. Well, thank you. But the Challenger Shanghai style might uh, leave an impression on you. Huh? So okay. enjoy today. Thank you. And our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Doc? Always a pleasure. All right, let's bring on Chairman Kaga. Nihon,中華料理界を実質的に動かしている日本中華料理調理師会。我らが鉄人陳健一はそこの青年部長を務めています。しかし今日の挑戦者はその遥か上のランク、常務理事といえば中華の頂点です。さあ皆さん大きな
organization. Mm -hmm. And with Chen among the relatively younger members, maybe something akin to a board member and a section manager, respectively, if this were a regular company? Something along those lines, yeah. Okay, now blended Ooh. sea cucumber Ooh. there. Blender. There we go. Getting into that early. Uh, I think it's the beginning of a jelly for a dessert then. Think oh, so? He must be kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Chen San is like a challenger in this sense, right? Yeah, that's what he was saying. And uh, I believe I just heard him ask one of the assistants for some gelatin powder over there. Oh, hey. Sounds like go. a dessert on the way. <laughs> oh, solidifying something can be for, for anything, really. You, you really just don't want to see dessert, I <laughs> no, take it, No, I don't huh? want to see All right. dessert. <laughs> yeah, well, this could be an appetizer, dessert, <laughs> That's um, my point. like an hors d'oeuvre. Yeah, 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 sure. Right, too. Anything's possible. And as you recall from the introductory piece, the challenger is known as the king of appetizers. That's true, wow. that's true, yeah. <laughs> Long live the king, and we should expect an appetizer or two today. Fukuzan. From the floor, Shinchiro to go. On Battling Iron Chef Chen, Challenger Fujiwara says, We're good friends, and even though I have seniority, Kenshan has the title of Iron Chef and can't afford to lose to me, but I've got a title too, the managing director of the Chef's Association, and I can't afford to lose either. All right, and Fujiwara smiling during the report, calling Chen mm. Kenshan like he's a youngster. <laughs> I think you're right. It is a dessert. Okay. Okay. What's he adding here? Strawberries or just the liquid form? Did anybody Ra see that? Raspberry color or something. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, the Dessert, but that went All right. Oh, I see. All right. Definitely got to be dessert there. And some liqueur, I think. All right. Oh, that's okay. what it Fukuzan. was. Yes. The mixture in the uh, Iron Chef's pan so far contains honey, Chinese liqueur, and the syrup from Chinese wild peaches. Oh, they're peaches. Okay. And now, how's that going to be combined oh, with sea right. cucumber? Mm. I mean, in a way, would that achieve some kind of harmony? Right. Good point. Mm. You know, just looking at these here, they don't look that appetizing <laughs> on their own. <laughs> it's not something I'd go crazy over by saying that. <laughs> well, if they make a dessert, it won't have that shape or okay. color, obviously. Now to the challenger side, food processor there. Looks like some salmon uh, in I it. I think ground salmon, yeah. That's okay. Fukuzan. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Challenger Fujiwara has just plain salmon in the blender so far. Okay. Okay, so for this would be for... For uh, stuffing something, right? Oh, I'd like to see that happen. Maybe yeah. in sea cucumber. Yeah, well, that'd be cool, yeah. And what was uh, Iron Chef chopped up? Lychee? Um, is these that lychee? are... Yes. Azuma-san is right. It is lychee. Right on. <laughs> okay, good call. Yeah, I couldn't really so. see what they were okay, doing. Okay, and also in there below, the... Uh, the wild yep. peaches. Okay. Right, Chinese wild peaches. All right. right, got those two confirmed there. So I think we uh, know that's definitely a dessert. Okay. Solidified in gelatin with sea cucumber. Oh, I still can't believe this. And sea you're gonna cucumber have to eat this. for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> well, the name cucumber suggests being kind of juicy, and it does taste very similar to cucumbers. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sea cucumbers not that common in Japanese food either, oh, so I'm not this. familiar with it. Going in here. All right. Oh. Yep. All right. Going in there. there. Yeah. In wow. One, huh? Okay. So I see. So the Chinese liqueur is in there too, right? You know, I think this will probably taste quite good. But just look at that. Who would think sea cucumbers in this one? Gelatin powder is already in there, right? Yes, he added that already. Okay, gelatin powder and sea cucumber. And I think we can still see some small cubes of the sea cucumber All right, in there so you as get well. some texture from these. Right. Oh, yeah, yes. see, there you go. Oh, right no. there. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yes. I asked the Iron Chef if this dessert that he's working on is a recipe from Szechuan Cooking, and he said, no, this is an original dessert that I'm making for the first time, and I'm not sure what it'll taste like. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to know. All this right, is thanks. Really. Dessert's been an adventure with Chen lately. Oh, definitely. Out on yeah. the high water. <laughs> with that one, and now 15 minutes gone, a quarter of the way through. Look at the challenger. He's got abalone. Oh, yeah, you're right. Holy moly, but this side a little more conventional. Yeah, and in Chinese cooking, there's a phrase which sounds like san shen, which means okay. three fresh items in Chinese, and it's used to describe it's a famous seafood dish using sea cucumber as uh -huh. one of the uh, the main three ingredients combined. Yeah. All right, so, so it looks like a little san shian going on over there. So you mean abalone, sea cucumber, and what else? Uh, it doesn't have to be all seafood. It could be bamboo shoots or mushrooms combined with the mm. sea cucumber as okay, well. Okay, and yeah. now adding something from this bowl. Oh, One what's more? that? Oh, shark's fin. All right. Is this a soup then? Oh, definitely. Oh. Okay, and what would he do with the... Uh, Add broth and then steam these? Right, exactly. Oh, luxurious. Oh, it sure is. Now, what's the... Oh, shark's fin. All right. Is this a soup then? Definitely, yep. Okay, and how... Add then? broth and then steam these? Oh, right, absolutely. All right, how luxurious that one would be. It sure is. Oh, and here's the challenger. Uh, is that shrimp eggs, I think? No, he's frying something. Okay, a little oh, deep fried job. Fried fron prawns or... He's frying them, see? Like shrimp crackers. Oh, oh yes. crackers. yeah. Okay. We've seen this before. Lovely beer snacks, sure. Yeah, I love them. And they open up so fast. <laughs> yeah. You can char them real fast. Meaning you've done that before? <laughs> yes, huh? I have. <laughs> All right, more shrimp crackers there. Uh, very quick. I love uh, these crackers. Smells good, Look how it? fast they open up. Yeah, like, like uh, magic almost. Flowers <laughs> blooming, speed it up, too. Let's see. We'll slow it down here and take a look. <laughs> like uh, water lilies opening up on the surface of a pond. Oh, that's very poetic. Yeah, it's, uh, seeing it in slow motion makes it 
even more impressive, okay, isn't pretty it? Pretty cool. And now challenger Fujiwara not staying cool, already <laughs> sweating, and back here on Chen's side, the dessert. He's going to solidify this? Okay, out of the walk into oh, okay. plastic wrap trays there. Kuzan. Yes. I asked the Iron Chef why he chose to make a dessert out of sea cucumber, and he explained that he wanted to use the sea cucumber's jelly-like texture for a dessert that no one has ever created before. All right. Mm, nothing wrong there. <laughs> Taking advantage of the theme ingredient's jelly-like texture, he says, for that one. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's not going to be the best-looking dish, but definitely one of the healthiest that you'll see today. Really? Sure. Uh, Chondroitin is a chemical substance in gelatin that's great for your skin. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In China, people make dishes like this, saying it's good for your skin. They keep a, a you know, a, a keep you young looking and, All right. and things like that. Yeah. It's good so for your skin. That's what they say, and they say a dish like this would make your skin a, a lot younger in like one day. Wow, I'm By starting the next to like day. this already. Uh, <laughs> go with some myself there. <laughs> the fried ones without. Okay, the crackers. Okay, yeah, the fried shrimp crackers. He's blending them, is he? I never expected this. Fried them up, and now whirring away in the processor. <laughs> would he be using these for a batter? A batter. Wow. Yes, it's really good that way. You've had that before. Yes, I have. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. The aroma of shrimp and a bit of saltiness is perfect. Okay. But now he's coating it with flour, right? Okay, for the sea frying? cucumber there. It's got to be for frying, yeah. Frying a sea cucumber, huh? And he's got something, what is that? Stuffing it. Yeah. Huh. Maybe uh, the salmon? Oh, okay. Okay, oh, right, stuffing right, right. salmon in the sea right. cucumber oh, there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the white powder that you see in the container is cornstarch. Okay, okay. cornstarch, corn got starch. it. Sorry about that, all right. And a salmon paste in there, and what about the shrimp crackers? Um, could be a coating for something, I guess. Maybe how about for these? On these rolls? Um, that could be a little bit too strong in flavor, though. I mean, with the cracker crumbs, you can char them a little bit easily, right? So he might just roll them around over the crumbs after frying them. All right, oh, sort of put them on as a finish. Right, mm -hmm. something towards the, the end. Okay. And now, if I'm not mistaken, the Iron Chef is using baby scallops here, mm -hmm. and I think it's blue crab meat as well. Okay, a lot of really items see. in that bowl right there. Kusan? Yes. Yeah, these ingredients here in this bowl, the Iron Chef has placed on top of the blended sea cucumber, and now he's mixing in here. Uh, let's see, the white ingredient is boiled lobster liver. Wow. Oh. And uh, he's also got the lobster meat in there as well, and some boiled scallops, as Hattori-san said. And the final ingredient so far, boiled blue crab meat. Okay, Back to some you. blue crab meat wow, in there okay, as well. Wow, the lobster meat as well. Huh? I mean, it's got it all, that one. And look now. What's that, some tuna? Okay, chunks of tuna. Wow. So it's got to be a, an appetizer, not a main dish. Okay, right? and uh -huh. looks like it's close to done there. And now, back to the challenger side, some action on the stove. And I think those are makamo mushrooms. The white items there? Right, yeah. And yeah. what are they? Uh, well, they're bakamo mushrooms. Okay, as you say. <laughs> All right. This is a stew, I think, okay, is what we're seeing here. Okay, stewed sea cucumber on the way. The sea cucumbers in there are quite sizable. Right, they're quite big, aren't yeah. they? And, you know, for stewed items, they use sea cucumbers in halves, usually, yeah. Halves? Right. Oh. Okay. I see you, but on the challenger side. Okay, let's still on nice. that side. Now 30 minutes oh, gone, okay. 30 to go. Fujiwara with Yuba sheets there. And they're the dried ones, right? For rolling? For, okay, maybe yeah. these. Roll and fry, I guess. We'll see. That'd be a nice approach. Could be. Rolled in Yuba for a fried Yuba wrap sea mm -hmm. cucumber stuffed with salmon paste. Right. Yeah. Pretty sure he'll roll it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, maybe sounds good. Maybe the Iron Chef is trying to uh, stuff it or something. Oh, Iron okay. Chef here, let's see. What, what do you, you know, think? The way he's slicing the ingredient. Oh, that could very well be, yeah. Slices on okay. inside walls. Let's see that. Possibility with this one. So both chefs going for a stuffing. That's what it looks like. Taking <laughs> a similar tack with sea cucumber. But we don't know what is to be stuffed. Well, Iron Chef could be using meat. And I think this is it. Right here? What is it? Oh, chicken wings. Chicken wings, these yeah. Chicken wings. Well, can't stuff with these. And no. you know, stuffed <laughs> items in Chinese cooking are called nian. It's a generic word for stuffing. But mm. I guess that's really not important now, is it? <laughs> We're trying to guess what's <laughs> yeah, going on here. Yeah, you got to stay on course, OK? <laughs> I was just trying to help you guys, you know, you could show off at a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> All right. Fukuzan? <laughs> yes. I asked Iron Chef Chen how many dishes he'll have today, and he replied that if he can, he'll make three orthodox dishes. All right, oh, a trio, okay. but he doesn't include the dessert in the three orthodox <laughs> dishes. <laughs> 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 yes. Oh, he's coating him there. He's okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Ota. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. I asked Challenger Fujiwara to comment on the Iron Chef making a lot of original dishes today, and he said, I think I'm ahead in originality. I'm doing something that's totally unique, a Fujiwara special. Mm. All right, so Chen with the more conventional approach, Fujiwara going out on a limb, and now back with the Iron Chef. So this is Chen's side, right? What's inside? Yes. Yeah, one more quick note. The ingredients being wrapped here are lard, kawaii potatoes, ground chicken, dried shiitake mushrooms, meringue, soy sauce, and sugar. 
Oh, oh it was okay. ground chicken. Okay. Okay. With lard. Right. So chicken and pork fat. Chicken alone could be too plain. Okay. That's why we use lard. Wrapped in plastic tells me steaming's on the way. Steaming? That's how you do it, and it's called nyan, by the way. We've heard that. <laughs> okay, but have we <laughs> seen them do that before? I think this is the first right. time, to be honest. Now here's some breadcrumbs, bread right? Breadcrumbs. Uh, okay. okay. Now what is this for? Probably for adding aroma. Maybe it's cinnamon. It's cinnamon. Is it cinnamon? Yes. Yeah. The ingredients in the challenge walk are breadcrumbs and butter. Oh, okay. All right. Buttered up there. So right. there's no cinnamon at all. Is that there. cinnamon? Uh, yeah, it's also flavored with cinnamon as well. All right, got okay. that. Oh, I thought so. Cinnamon in there. That's interesting, isn't it? And mm. butter. Huh, think about it. I'm thinking. <laughs> and for Cuisant? Yes. I also asked Challenger Fujiwara how many dishes he's planning to have today, and he said I'll have five dishes, including my Fujiwara special sea cucumber dessert. <laughs> oh, no, a dessert from him, too? He'll do it, too. Okay. So this means... This is uh, the dessert. Yeah, the cinnamon one for the dessert, right? That makes sense. Okay, yeah. now back with Chen. Now, these are the chicken wings, correct? Okay, cooking in the wok with with some long onions right there right. also. And yeah, and normally you would hang But on. no sea cucumbers in there yet, oh, I really? believe. Oh, no, no, no. Not yet. No, no, no sea cucumber. Nothing in there yet. No. Ew. And sea cucumber itself is rather bland, to be honest. All right, now, Fujiwara, this side, oh, look, look at, at this. Oh, a beautiful soup. Isn't it, though? Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful, right there. But again, no sea cucumber, right? No sea cucumber. Oh, oh, you're right. Hey, right, he's yeah. adding it right now. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. dropping some big pieces in. Oh, oh yeah. He's adding them now. <laughs> okay, so you want to add them later, I see. Man, okay. alive, they are sizable. <laughs> and ready for steaming again. So yeah, two steps? Once more. Yeah, sure, two steps. That way you don't have to worry about it hardening too much. Okay. Anything to do with flavor? Um, not really, but you have to worry about it melting away. Oh, okay. Doing it that way. Oh, right. He really wants to maintain the texture here. Okay, Fujiwara wanting to keep that texture firm. And he's making a dough here. Fukui-san? Yes. Yeah, this is ukiko that he's kneading like bread dough, oh, and okay. it already has shiratamako mixed in. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so that'll be for dessert. Right, yeah, definitely. For a dumpling. So what happens to the breadcrumbs then? Well, perhaps he'll use them somehow with this one right here that he's working on. And now 15 minutes left in the battle. Oh, to go ahead. I asked Challenger Fujiwara how he's doing on time, and he said, I may not make it. I've been under pressure many times, but this Iron Chef thing is by far the most strenuous thing I've ever done. This is going to translate into more gray hair for me. Oh, no. Well, at least he's got hair. <laughs> he's not smiling anymore. He was smiling a lot in the early going first half of this one, but now continuing to sweat and in a bit of a pinch against the clock is the challenger. Right, now if we can check out, out the uh, Iron Chef side here, I think he's just adding the sea cucumber, mm, cucumber now. pieces Just there. like the challenger, Chen dropping in some sizable pieces of sea cucumber to go with the stewed chicken wings. Man is working his walk. Dropping in some sizable pieces of sea cucumber to go with the stewed chicken wings. Man is working his walk. And you know, the Iron Chef has mostly orthodox dishes, except for that one, right? This one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Challenger, I think, in my view anyway, has uh, a few more novel dishes. Could oh, help him out. Look at the fried ones. I'd really like to see what that one tastes like. Ooh, um, the Challenger's Yuba wrap sea cucumber rolls here. Wow. No, I want to find out why that had to be salmon in there. I really want to try that. Okay, yeah, the salmon paste in there in the middle right. of these. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What do you think? Any sauce or dip for these or just serve them as they are. It has enough flavor, I think. I, I agree with you. I think there's uh, enough in there right All now. All right, yeah. now the Iron Chef unloading his stewed combo into a serving plate right there. Mm -hmm. Looks like a home-style dish. Yeah, it is. It's, it's rather plain in Plain in looking, sense, yeah. but still whetting the appetite. <laughs> wow, yeah. that one is there. And the mm. challenger is onto something that looks similar. He's got something similar right there. Okay, yeah, this is the, the is. macamo mushrooms and sea cucumber, Okay, right? it's also a stewed dish. Ten right, and also lobster eggs in there. Ten minutes left now. Kuzan. Yes. Challenger Fujiwara. Fujiwara really is pressed for time. He said he'll try his best, but he may have to give up on that dessert that he started to make using rice flour. Oh, oh no. that's too bad. May have to ditch dessert. So that would mean those breadcrumbs would not be used, right? Right, right. They had the cinnamon-flavored breadcrumbs over there that they'd prepared. and But look, right here, he's still going to try. May not be able to finish, but he's going to go for it yeah, here. Yeah, looks like he's going for it. And how much time Let's do we have? Let's see. Got about nine and a half minutes left. Okay. Mm, maybe we don't have to worry so much. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think that's enough time. Think so? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's easy for us to say. <laughs> oh, I could do it. <laughs> yes. I asked the challenger what he was going to do if he failed to finish that dessert, and he said, remember my nickname? I'm known for my appetizers. I don't need a dessert. I'm not sure if he was serious or not. <laughs> oh, please don't give up. <laughs> now you've changed your tune. You want him to make a dessert, huh? <laughs> yes. Well, he may need it to match up against Chen's wild dessert on the other side. Okay, now look at the Iron Chef here. I'm done with steaming. Oh, looking good. A log of sea cucumber there. <laughs> Steam coming off the stuffed sea cucumber. 
remember? Right. He will slice this, right? Yeah, you don't eat it like a hot dog. No, <laughs> <laughs> <With some laughs> that sauce would be wrong. It, right? <laughs> All right, now let's see. Oh, What's, look at this. What are they doing here? Is okay. this what we wanted? <laughs> so this, not a dessert, right? Yes. This mixture in the Challenger's container consists of kawaii potatoes, prawns, large sea cucumber, and shiitake mushrooms. All right, oh, thanks. It wasn't a dessert Doesn't then. Doesn't look so like it's, it's there. it's like a dim sum dish almost, Yes, yeah? for steaming. Right, exactly. Okay, steam, but uh, then how are they going to finish this one? Well, we know it's not sweet now, right? right. So, is, boy. That, is that going to be turned into a dessert? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still a dim sum item. Okay, well, the man's but. all smiles again, along with his assistants. Everyone over there feeling up, <laughs> feeling good in this one. <laughs> They're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, so I think this will definitely be a steamed dumpling. Okay, exactly. as that side continues to work oh, on that. Look at Chen san. Oh, well, that's uh, matsutake uh, mushrooms, yeah. Wow, matsutake and bamboo shoots. Yeah, that's okay. a sure sign of fall. Bamboo mm -hmm. shoots matsutake. in there also. Mm -hmm. Yes, at the bottom. Okay, matsutake. Take bamboo shoots and sea cucumber all together wow, now. That is that another walk. luxurious dish, isn't yes, it? Yes, another stewed dish. Right, or or a soup. Yeah, yeah. a soup. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. soup here with this mm -hmm. one. Could be sure. Okay, with matsutake adding the aroma, I guess. Yeah, in a in a clear soup, like a chintan broth, right? A chunky Chinese soup. <laughs> right. Um, chintan means clear soup hey, in Chinese, uh, right? what about this over oh, here? Some dried rice. Oh. Wow, okay. Isn't it? You guys no, agree? Dried rice? I think yes, so, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you cook the rice by boiling it, and then you make it into a paste and just let it dry, and it comes out like this. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's uh, good old-fashioned dried rice. It's great. You don't have to fry it or cook it further. Exactly, exactly. So you'll pour the soup over it then. Right, that's what you do. Okay, so the soup is poured over it. Mm -hmm. All right, now yeah. back on Fujiwata's side here. Okay, this is not dim sum, no, obviously. No. And it's, we thought he was going to steam it though, right? Doc, do we have to agree that's a dessert? You guys <laughs> are back and forth on this. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes dumplings like these are put together with a, a okay. sweet sauce. Could be yeah. sweet in it. Not yeah. sweet. Okay. Just have to wait and see. Yeah. Yes. Challenger Fujiwara tells me that these are shiratama dumplings, and he says oh, that they like will be finished, yeah, exactly 36 seconds before the final 36 dog. seconds? <laughs> What's that all about, I wonder? <laughs> all right. Now, hang on a second here. Let's take a look at Chen. This one didn't really solidify, did it? Oh, no. The dessert? Yeah, that was the dessert that he was planning, oh, isn't it? Oh, my. No. no jelly there. But, you know, I think he's thinking about serving it almost like a, a cocktail. Plan B. Come yeah. to think of it, he used fresh wild peaches and fresh right. lychee. Mm -hmm. The other ones make it difficult to harden right. jelly. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, Hattori-san is right. Because the Iron Chef couldn't get the dessert to harden in time, he's chosen to serve it as a drink out of the blender. All right, oh. thanks. And, man, look at Chen. He is sweating like crazy right there. And three minutes left in this one. Lychee and peaches should be stewed in a sweet syrup once if you want them to harden in gelatin or jelly, right? Right, exactly. Oh, okay, yeah. learn something new there. Yeah. Some kind of acid in the fruit prevents solidification? Right, right, the the peptides, right? Oh, no. yes, that. Yeah. You two right on top of that, <laughs> but uh, can you tell me how sea cucumber will taste in this? Um, um well, no. Uh, <laughs> okay, sweet. It'll, it will taste sweet. Sweet and sour like a fruit cocktail. <laughs> All right, we shall see, but getting in up close on that looks can be deceiving to these <laughs> eyes, at least. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh no, hang on a second. Look here. Look at this. Oh, he's coating the dumpling. Okay, the cinnamon-flavored breadcrumbs right wow. there. Yeah. All right. Now a minute to go, the final 60 seconds. That's how he wanted that. I'm impressed. Cinnamon breadcrumbs coating them on his dumplings, and his dessert is finished and getting them done before the 36-second mark, about 46 seconds left. <laughs> so he beat his prediction by about 10 seconds there. Exactly. And, you know, I've got to give him a, a lot of credit for being so creative today. Oh, he has one up the amazing. Iron Chef in that department, and with 36 seconds left, he's got him off and out, shaving it close, but getting it done. And now sprinkling some powdered sugar over these puppies right here. 30 seconds. And challenger Tsuguo Fujiwara coming in and putting his Shanghai style cooking against Iron Chef Chen Sejuan Chops. Both men now whooping it up in the last minute. Earlier swishing and dishing 60 minutes with sea cucumber. They're all smiles now, but it's been an impressive competitive affair. Chairman Kaga not allowing the Iron Chefs to rest on their laurels he's promised to find from here on out challengers of a higher caliber. Five he's got one today in Fujiwara. Three, Will Chen's winning two, streak be snapped? Final one. seconds ticking down and that's it! The cooking's done. The sea cucumber battle is over! It looked like you were having some trouble in the beginning of the battle, uh, scrambling there until the end. Yeah, yeah. How did everything finally turn out? Yeah, I managed to pull off five dishes. Uh huh. So, uh, I don't know. I didn't want to disappoint the tasters. Uh, right. So I didn't give up until the very last minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So do you think you can beat Chen San then? I don't really care about uh, that. Really? All of my juniors and my colleagues are watching this. Uh huh. So the only thing I was concerned about was doing a quality job here in the kitchen. Oh, okay. And that's it. How was this hour? 
Uh, short, you know. <laughs> Too short? Yeah, yeah, and it was sea cucumber today. So it's right. something I'm used to, so uh, uh-huh. I tried to be really creative in the beginning, uh, trying to rise to the challenge. Oh. something I never created before. Okay. Yeah. So what about that failed dessert that didn't harden? Learn from your mistakes, right? Right. Why don't you look at things that way? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, it was my best shot. Don't be so critical. <laughs> okay. Nothing's okay. perfect right from the start, okay? <laughs> Got it? Thank you. Challenger Fujiwara is offering five dishes. First, marinated sea cucumber and vegetables. The shredded apples are a nice match with the soft texture of the sea cucumber. The marinade sauce is made from Chinese rice wine and red vinegar. Second, fried salmon and sea cucumber. Sea cucumbers stuffed with salmon paste rolled in yuba and deep fried, a creative package with sea cucumber front and center, achieving a wonderful harmony with sweet potatoes. His spot on sauce, which uses honey, should impress the tasters. Third, Chinese sea cucumber stew, a healthy dish which will keep one's skin looking young. Though it may seem heavy in its presentation, its flavor is actually light and mild. Sea cucumber soup, which gets a major boost from the challenger's use of shark's fin and matsutake mushrooms. The elegant soup has penetrated to the core of all the ingredients in this one. Last is sea cucumber and rice dumplings. The use of cinnamon flavored breadcrumbs is a master stroke and a dish that employs an authentic Chinese dim sum approach with the sea cucumber inside the dumplings. Iron Chef Chen is also offering five dishes. First, sea cucumber and grated radish. The opening dish is accentuated nicely by red chili oil. A vivid, hot and spicy appetizer to fire up the tasters to get them ready for the rest of his dishes. Second, stewed sea cucumber, soy and oyster flavor. A combo of chicken wings and big pieces of sea cucumber flavored with oyster sauce which have soaked up the hearty soup in the stew. This one should make quite an impact. Third is stuffed sea cucumber. The Iron Chef chose to finish it with the sauce using kuchiko, a dried delicacy made from sea cucumber which has the effect of gently reining in the sea cucumber's flavor. Fourth, sea cucumber soup over dried rice cakes. The soup has two layers of flavors, one created by the matsutake mushrooms, the other by pieces of fried dried rice cakes after the soup's poured over them. The sound of them crackling as that's done should be entertaining as well. Last is sea cucumber and peach cocktail. Unable to get it to gel, Chen goes to plan B, serving it as a cocktail. It looks like an adventure, but the tasters may not recognize the presence of sea cucumber. A veteran chef on the Chinese cuisine scene and one of the managing directors of the country's Association of Chinese Chefs, today's challenger, Suguo Fujiwara. The Shanghai style leader will go against the Sejuan Sage Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme for a pair of chefs who can ill afford a blot on their record, Sea Cucumber. Challenger Fujiwara reaching deep finishes with a creative set of five dishes. Iron Chef Chen said he'd go orthodox but goes out on the edge with his own set of five. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the sea cucumber battle are former lower house member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Chizuru Azuma, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Fujiwara. Well, what I was surprised about was the combination of sea cucumber and apples. I didn't know they matched so nicely. This is great. You know, I'm not that much of an expert to tell all of the individual ingredients that you've used in the sauce, but what I can say is it's very well balanced and, uh, well, much, much lighter than it looks. What was unexpected was uh, the combination of apples and sea cucumber. Uh, but the side of it, having maintained the natural color of sea cucumber itself, was really unexpected. This yuba is somewhat crispy, while the sea cucumber is mousse-like, um, like a pudding. But the salmon inside is not a critical element. Maybe you should have used something else inside. Well, this is very crispy outside and soft inside, and served in a sweet and sour sauce, which I love. Not choosing soy sauce or oyster sauce for this makes it quite surprising. And now Fujiwara serving his sea cucumber stew. 
<laughs> it is quite a strong statement. <laughs> yeah, the visual impact, it's so strong. It's, it's almost shocking seeing the little spikes on it. But you know, the flavor has penetrated it so deeply. And I think, I think the herbs are helping that out. Such a wonderful dish, in my opinion. For me, this is a bit too salty, I have to say. The soup has great body and the sea cucumber is quite mild. The texture of sea cucumber in this soup is so different from the previous stew dish. Well, this dish is just a unique, uh, sticky dumpling. I wanted to see a bit more sharpness to, uh, well, to wrap up your courses here today. Unfortunately, the skin is too thick, killing the wonderful ingredients inside. But the cinnamon is a nice touch. It matches very nicely. As dessert, I prefer not to see the shape of the sea cucumber. <laughs> so, you know, the texture of the ingredient. I know it's fun to look at it sometimes, but for dessert, I think the fun should take place only in my mouth. <laughs> it would make it easier to eat. <laughs> And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. The sea cucumber is used as a platform, letting the other ingredients like the scallops or tuna harmonize so nicely with the spicy and sour flavor. It's an icon flavor of Iron Chef Chinese. You know, the sea cucumber is awfully large. Was this intentional? Well, I wanted it to be noticed. So. Well, I, I, I see. That, that's why it was big. I'm, I'm not complaining about the taste. I think the sea cucumber could have been served alone in this. You use scallops and tuna for additional flavors, but really, you should have been bold enough to let the sea cucumber go solo. The more I chew, the more I enjoy the flavor. <laughs> The saltiness and body of Kuchiko spreads gradually in my mouth, and I just love it. Thank you. The egg white, it's uh, not so salty, not that salty at all. And then suddenly, the Kuchiko's saltiness, it hits you. I almost feel like we're cooking this dish in our mouths. That's what I like. Here it comes, the soup onto the heated dried rice. And now he'll dish out the servings. It should be quite savory. Mm, there's a lot in here. But at last I'm seeing sea cucumber in smaller pieces, <laughs> making it very easy to eat. This is a bit more than savory, almost nearly charred in smell. <laughs> Well, I think it's the, the vinegar that's so effective. It's, well, it's not a regular vinegar, it's milder. Uh, the color told me that. This is a thick soup, yet it has a refreshing flavor. The balance is so intricate. It's delicious. Well... <laughs> Don't be scared. It doesn't taste funny. You drink it. Just stir it up. The smell... A sea cucumber juice. How should I say it? As a sweet and sour smell. And a slightly funny smell to it, I think. It's a unique smell. Yeah, sea cucumber juice. <laughs> I apologize for making a funny one. If it had a bit more liqueur to it and was in a shot glass, it would have Maybe. been better, but... With this much, I don't know what to make of it. But I give you credit for trying. Yes. <laughs> Looking for that credit now where it counts the verdict when we return. この戦いを見た多くの中華料理関係者がそう思ったはずです。常務理事と青年部長。しかし、この戦いの判定は肩書きではなく、この下に委ねられているんです。
それでは発表します。Today, the Iron Chef battling one of the veteran leaders of Chinese cuisine in Japan. The outcome could tip the balance of power in the Chinese Chefs Association. Challenger Fujiwara coming through, producing creative fare. Iron Chef Chen trying to make it eight straight. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Tezudin Chen Case! It's the Iron Chef! Chen wins it! A huge win! It may mark a changing of the guard. Chen beating one of his seniors in the Chinese Chefs Association. Fujiwara bringing it at him today, but the Iron Chef, and look at the relief! Think this W doesn't mean much to him? Think again! Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi!